But after a couple of days, I fin finally found the issue and fixed it. Uh, it didn't happen. Like I'm, I think a week after I originally recorded recorded the video, and honestly, even though I really dig into the code, I couldn't find any clear issue. However, there has been some attempts by even viewers from this the latest video, which is pretty cool, like the idea that somebody watches my video and then, and then tries to fix it on their own. That's super cool. Please do that if you can. Makes me happy. But uh, at the end, uh, uh, a solution wasn't very clear. So the idea was that each time a new window is added back to the what is called again the the proxy model the model every time a new window is, is added back or removed from it well it changes the count of the windows and that emits the count changed signal and something up it shouldn't happen in theory i contacted the person that wrote that piece of code but i had no clear idea on how to fix it so However, I did find, uh, let's say, a workaround, uh, not an ugly one, to be honest, a pretty one, to avoid the flashing. So this bug has been fixed. It's no longer alive. I, I did it. It's no more. How did I fix it? So basically, if you remember from the animation code, I might be too lazy to actually bring it up again and show it in Kidding Live, but just go back uh, like 10 minutes in the video, I'll, I'm sure you'll find it. If you do that, you will see that there are two animations that change uh, the opacity. Basically, when you go from op uh, opaque to transparent, it change, changes the opacity from, you know, one to zero. Yes, and when you go from transparent to opaque, it changes it from zero to one which makes sense. Basically, you're changing the opacity of the, you know, opaque layer based on whether it should be opaque or not. However, by doing that, if you like, um, if you, it comes the signal, you need to become transparent. And then just after that, also the signal to, you need to be opaque. What happens is that it switches from one to the other to the first one. And it, it goes for like, mm, at the beginning, it's opaque, okay? So you've got this straight line, it's opaque. And then it says, okay, now you need to become transparent. And so it becomes to become transparent, which is going up like this. However, before it actually finished the animation, it says, okay, you need to become opaque again, like just after that. And so it actually resets the opacity to be transparent and then that's the cool animation. So you got like this, tick, then whoop. And that's the blinking you see. Now my hands are surely better than uh, graphs I could do on Desmos. You totally understood everything, totally. But how did I fix it then? Basically I told him instead of going from zero to one and from one to zero, just go from the current value you have to one and from the current value you have to zero. So basically this time, if we go, let's do this. If we go from one and then it tries to go to zero and then it has to come back to one, instead of doing the whole whip thing, it just does this, does this. And you almost don't see it and like you don't see it at all because it's, I think, milliseconds. I don't know why it even does it, but you don't see it anymore because instead of resetting the opacity each time you need to go from one state to another, it just takes the whole opacity and animates that one. So now the bug has been fixed. It's no longer, lo no longer there. The fix ain't beautiful. I could have done better, but honestly, after a week of trying to fix this, let's say it, little bug, I was annoyed and this was the best I could do, so I just went for it. So that was all. And of course, that doesn't end the bug fixing. I will find a new bug to bug fix. And um, just give me a second. I won't edit this part out because at this point, 
you can be bored bored or whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Um ah, yes, okay, yes, I remember. There is this bug that I this bug that I've been trying to fix, which is super annoying. Which is when you in the latest version of Plasma, when you go to the panel, you go into panel edit mode and then you take an applet and try to change it to an alternative. For some reason it just moves it all to the left. I've done some investigation and it's super weird and uh, I think I better understood how the code works and honestly I do not understand how the hell did it ever work and um, now we'll have to fix it. And if I'm able to I will do a devlog about this otherwise I will, I will just do a short video summarizing this time with pretty graphs and everything at the end how I managed to fix it because I will totally fix it like that's for sure. I have just done like four videos in a row just, just I just sat here and recorded four of them this is the last one I don't know what order I will publish them by but you know 